Everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. This one going to show you how to use the paint bucket tool in Photoshop. Here's an example. I've got an apple here, and then I created a copy of it, and then I used the paint bucket tool, which is over here. You can click G to get to it, or click G twice, and you'll get to it. And then I applied it to the top layer, and presto, I've got a green apple. And now I can go ahead and drop the opacity down, and I can go ahead and adjust the... Uh, blending mode and you get a green tinge to your apple. This is just an example. Let me show you what I did here. I'll delete this copy. Start from scratch. Here we go. Here's the apple. I'm going to create a second copy of it. So I've got a duplicate. And now you just go over here, grab your paint bucket tool. And before you do anything, here is the main thing you need to know. Right now, it's going to select the foreground color. So I've got green selected, but if I wanted a different color, I would just click on it and maybe I would have a blue apple, whatever. It doesn't really matter. The next step is you want to test your tolerance. Your tolerance is basically how much it, it is looking in a adjacent area. So if I click in the middle here, it selects the whole apple. But watch this. If I turn the tolerance down to, let's go to like tolerance of like 20, something like that. Now watch. It's just doing little bits and pieces of the apple. So keep that in mind. Your tolerance is basically how much of the adjacent area and how much of the adjacent color it's going to select. If you go really, really high, you can do the whole thing. But that, in a nutshell, is how you use the paint bucket tool. and allows you to color huge portions of, of a canvas with just one or a couple clicks. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up.